Good morning, Mountain Lions. Mrs. Silva here with the principal's message. Happy Monday. So I'm so glad that we're here today, still focusing on tolerance. We haven't washed away, even though the rain and storms have been crazy. We all remember that on Friday, especially at the end of the day during dismissal, we had kind of a wild experience with the rain pouring. Um, so I wanted to take this opportunity to talk to you a little bit about rainy day expectation because it's supposed to be rainy again today, and then hopefully we get a break. Um, so on rainy days, um, there are lots of things we may ask you to do that aren't usually allowed or that we don't typically ask you to do because where the water is sort of changes everything. So I want to give you a couple of rainy day versus non-rainy day examples and remind you that if it's not a rainy day, we're business as usual and all the rules apply. On days when it's raining or something else is going on, there might be an exception or a change, but as soon as the rain is gone, we go back to normal in all our regular rules and expectations, procedures. So rainy day dismissal. I know a lot of kids were confused because we were trying to get you up in the hallway and out of the pouring rain, um, and that's the opposite of what we're usually asking you to do. So let's be really clear. On a rainy day, we don't want you to get any wetter than you need to. So we'll ask you to wait in the hallway under the cover um, of the hallway roof and we'll ask you to watch for your cars and come out when you see your car arrive and you can safely enter it. When it's not raining or it's a typical day, you're not allowed to be in the hallway or on the porch. We ask you to move forward and stand behind the bar at the car loading area and have your eyes forward. We don't play, we don't run around, we don't chase. It's kind of a boring experience. Your job is to stand and watch the cars if you're waiting for a ride. That's it. Your job is to get in a car and go. So um, we're not reminding you about running around and playing. That's not an option. We're not reminding you about getting off of the school porch, I sometimes call it, or hallway. That's not an option. If weather is typical and it's not a rainy day or a crazy storm or something like that, you're down behind the bars waiting for your cars. On a rainy day, the opposite is going to happen. So I want you all to be prepared today. If it's raining again when we're trying to get in cars and go home, we'll ask you to get out of the way of the gate so that kids and people can continue to get out, move down the hallway, and watch for your cars in the hallway. Make sense? The other thing is, um, because of the construction, some of our drains aren't working. We keep getting little floods and things like that. So our custodian, um, Sebastian, works really hard to keep the hallways as clear as he can of water. But remember, if water is in the hallway, um, we expect all of you to use your brains and to walk around water in the safest way you can. We don't want you to walk through it. We're going to be working hard to make sure there's always a place for you to walk. So if Sebastian Sebastian has created a bridge with pallets and rugs like we have going up to the portables where first and second grade have their classes. Your job is to walk on that little bridge that he's made. You don't walk through the water. We don't want your feet to get soaking wet. Same for the hallway. There might be just a narrow space where you can walk without getting wet and we expect you to walk through the narrow space. And I know we always tell you not to walk on the curbs between the planter and the hallway but sometimes if there's a lot of water, we might ask you to do that. It's the same as dismissal. Sometimes on days like these, there are exceptions, and we do it because we want you to stay safe and dry, okay? So just be thinking about that. Make a wise choice. Um, I know it's fun to play in the water. I like it as much as most of you do, but to get wet and then have to be in a classroom all day soaking wet gets really uncomfortable, and we don't want you to have to feel uncomfortable and cold after the fun of the play has ended. So please don't jump in puddles when you're at school. If you do that at home and love it, great. I do too, but not at school. Okay, let's do tickets. I know that was a lot, but I saw a lot of things on Friday that made me a little bit concerned for kids' safety and some people weren't listening. We just wanted, wanted you to know the expectation. Okay, these are a little bit mixed up. I didn't sort them by grade level. I've got um, Mujib from Miss Olson's class, Carlos from Miss Kisbert's class, Mikey from Miss Thomas's class, Eileen from Mrs. Leon's class. <clears throat> it looks like Shahad. It's a little hard to read. I think it's Shahad from Miss Plack's class. Hasnia from Miss Kelly's class. Devin Douglas from Mr. Charles' class. Mohammed from Miss Covey's class. Uh, Matilde or Matilda from Miss Litoff's class. 
Selena from Miss Statmuller's class, and Eduardo from Miss Montez's class. Thank you guys uh, for your efforts and turning the tickets in. Remember, I do a drawing <clears throat> with tickets that are in by the end of the day, Friday, for every Monday, and I'll try to draw one from every class. So try to remember that if you're collecting your tickets in class to keep counts, that someone walks them down and drops them in the containers in the office um, when you're on your way out on Friday so you can be included in the drawings on Monday. Hey guys, have a really fabulous day. Fingers crossed that it's not too wet. I'll see you around school.